Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I think it has gone live. There we go. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today's video, I'm going to be sharing rings that I have sold for $25 or more on my eBay or Etsy stores. In my eBay and Etsy stores, I should say. So yeah, if you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a stay-at-home mom, homeschool mom that sells online. Um, I make and save money and that's what my channel is all about. So this video is about one of the things that I'm really passionate about, which is selling jewelry. I love picking up jewelry, selling jewelry. So I thought I would share some of the successes I've had with picking up jewelry and what kind of prices I ask for them, what, you know, just my thought process. So if you're out and about and you see something and you think you might want to try picking it up to sell, then this might give you some pointers along the way. So welcome. If you're new again, I'd love to have you subscribe. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and we'll get started. So yeah, okay, hello, hello, I am live, hello. Um, before we jump into it, so here's the chat and everything. Before we jump into it, I do want to say that some of these solds were on eBay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so what I've done, and I got some questions about this in my previous ones. I've done one before on earrings I've sold, and I've done one on bracelets I've sold uh, for $25 or more. And I got the question about like some of them weren't in my Etsy sold. No. Well, as you know, or you may know, on eBay after, I think it's 90 days, um, solds roll off. So you don't have access to that anymore. But because I cross post my items on Etsy, I can see when I deactivated those, you know, and if it's deactivated, that means it's sold on eBay. If it's sold on um, Etsy, it would be under my sold on Etsy. So there's that. So I'll let you know which ones were on eBay. So the prices might be a little bit skewed. So hello, oh, hello, hello. There's a, my friends there. Hello, Angela and Julie. Hello, Real Liquidation and Tom. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't have one of my, let me get one of my friends over here as a mod. Let's see if it grabbed the wrong, right one. Yep, it did. Okay, good. All right, so um, do I have a man's wedding ring? I don't think I have one listed right now. The chances of me having one in my inventory somewhere that's just not listed is probably pretty good. Um, but I don't think I have one listed at the moment. Okay, so let me go through and hang on. I've got my things all messed up. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Murphy. Hello, Glenn. The swamp picker's in there. Sorry if I didn't say hey to you. Um, some people get really annoyed when I say hello to people in the chat or talk to you guys, but whatever. Okay, so starting out, um, this is one of the rings. This is sold on Etsy. This is a wedge wood. If you're familiar with wedge wood, you might see more like plates and dishes and things like that. But it's that bisque porcelain, bisque meaning like it's unglazed, right? Um, so it's it was this wedge wood ring of this woman, you know, Greek. Look at how horrible. Okay, some of these, I'm just going to say right off the bat, some of these listings are from a while ago, and so they're so cringeworthy. You know when you look back at some of your old listings, the pictures or the, or the descriptions or things like that, and you're just like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, but anyway, um, so this ring I picked up at an auction. I want to say I paid probably around $10 for it, um, but this sold on Etsy for $81.99. I did have to wait but I thought it was so cool and unusual, I didn't have a problem um, putting that on that high price and waiting for it. So there's that. Hello, hello in the chat. Again, cringeworthy <laughs> ring. I mean, the picture's not awesome. My title's not awesome. This is one of those that, you know, I checked out the, I, I got this ring, 14 karat gold ring, and I checked out the, the, the scrap value. And I decided I didn't want to just scrap it, you know, or take it to the gold guy and just get money for it. So I sold it, you know, for a little bit more than what the scrap value was. So that turned out to be 80 bucks. So there's that. <laughs> oh, can you really? Oh my gosh, Tom. Tom says he can get wedge with jewelry. You guys can read that. It's down there. He can get right wedge with jewelry over there. No, I just don't find it over here. Let me make my chat a little bit bigger so you guys can read it better. Send it to me, Tom. <laughs> If you don't mind waiting on it, you know what I mean? That's that's the thing. I didn't have a problem waiting for it. So, uh, Julie says, I've redone photos, several items to make my listings better. See, and that's something I probably need to go take a look at because some of these are, like I say, cringeworthy. Okay, so here's one. This is an amber ring. It's an amber um, ring that I picked up at a garage sale. I actually got this 
and a number of other amber items and then some turquoise as well for pretty, I think it was like 15 bucks or something. It was so cheap. Um, so this one sold for $78.99. I, I actually sold it. So don't tell my mom because she loves, that's her, her, her thing is Amber. She loves it. Hello. Hello, Gina. Hi, Gwen. Hello, hello. Okay. So moving forward, maybe I should scoot this over so you can see the description more than the, hang on. Because I think that would be more interesting to you than my side notes over there. Apologies, guys. I'm a little off today. I wonder why. There we go. I want the picture and the words in there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so there's that. So definitely um, keep an eye out for Amber. I've done a bunch of videos about Amber if you're not sure about identifying it and all of that. So, okay, moving forward. Again, one of my older listings. I was trying to get creative with my, my pictures and have something interesting in the background. I don't know why feet would be a good idea, but there we have it. Um, so <laughs> this is a little ring. It's a vermeil ring. Basically, it's um, silver with like a gold wash on it or a gold, you know, plating on it. So, and I, I titled it Cigar Band Enamel. It's got this little flower painted on here like so. And again, some of my pictures, not so awesome, but it's ended up selling for $70. So again, it was just I was willing to put a price on it. I thought it was unusual. I thought it was pretty. Um, and as you can see there, you know, some of the vermeil is chipping off and it's still sold for a really nice profit. Hello. Okay, next up, boy, I needed, I needed to fix these pictures up. This was a sterling silver ring. It was kind of a wraparound ring. Um, and I, I put these keywords, Aztec, Mayan, because I was trying to, to figure out like what it, it had that kind of look to it, even though I couldn't quite place what, what it was. Um, so yeah, 925. Anyway, not awesome pictures. So <laughs> this one sold for $54. And this one I think I got also at the auction um, in a lot of silver rings. You may see a couple more from, from the, in these. So here's another one. Um, so this open work ring, this one sold for $49.99. This is a sterling silver. See, I think my my biggest tip would be if you see something that's cool, you don't see something else out there like it, um, and you don't ha you have the luxury of waiting, especially if it's on something small like jewelry, put on put the price you'd like to get on it and and just wait it out on some of these. Um, and because I cross post my most of my items on eBay I can put best offer on eBay and and see how it goes let it ride you know okay so this one sold for $49.99 next up this was again in that same where did that where did this come from I don't remember clicking on steam it but whatever um this one was in that same lot with that wrap ring so here's another one this one sold for $49 it was just unusual it was a little different it had kind of a Mayan look to it. I, th I felt like, you know, that you see on the side of those carved pyramid things, you know, I felt like it didn't look like that kind of, anyway, so this one sold for $49.99. See if I got any better pictures in there. Yeah, I did. Okay. Whew. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, this one has got this black stone, which is probably onyx, um, with sterling silver. And this one, you know, again, it seems pretty standard, but I really liked the, oh, what do you call that? No, I can't remember. There is a name for the way it's set in that jagged edge, and I can't think of the word for it. Did I put it down here? Um, but it's worth looking up because some people like the way that's set. They like that kind of setting. You know, I can't think of what it's called. So, But if you find one like that, there are people that like the setting that looks like that. If you know in the chat, let me know. I can't remember what it's called. So this one sold for $35. Then this one, I really liked this ring. I just had to sell it though, but it's the sort of like cigar band style ring, um, sort of cigar band style, but just, I don't know. I mean, it seemed pretty standard, but it just goes to show you that, you know, even simple design jewelry will sell. Some people really like that simple design. So this one sold for $35. Then I'm trying to watch over here and make sure I don't get into my my, uh, my eBay sales without telling you. Okay, this one was kind of cool. It kind of reminded me of almost like a Bollywood type. So I put Thai style princess ring, um, Bali ring, Chata. I, I must have done some really good keyword searching. But if you know what the princess rings look like, they're kind of this 
dome, like pointed dome. And a lot of times fancier ones have, have stones set in them. Um, but this one, as you can see, was an adjustable ring. So even with that being an adjustable ring, um, it was still sold for $39.99. So very cool. I think because it was just cool and unusual, right? Okay, next up we have this one. And I, this one I like the picture on. I could have brightened it up a bit, but I really like the way the picture turned out on this one. So the sides were this open work and then it has this black, again, probably onyx stone in there. What did I put on there? Onyx, okay. So this one sold for 40 bucks. I really liked it, but it just wasn't my style. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dandy's mom. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to keep the uh, pronged edge. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the, I'm trying to keep on the up and up, I'm trying to keep the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, keep on schedule, right? Keep on track. Okay, so this one sold for $40 as well. Okay, I'm looking down here. Okay, making sure. So next up, this was a really cool ring. I mean, it had some wear, but this was a Whiting Davis. And I, I have yet to come across another Whiting Davis ring. Um, it's a costume jewelry brand, you know, but this one had this kind of etched unicorn piece of glass set into it. You know, it was really cool. So again, it was adjustable and a lot of, I'm not showing a really good picture of this, but some of the, the coating had worn off. So it was a bit of a mess, but it still sold for $32 and 99 cents. So, so when you're looking at jewelry, if you find something unique that has condition issues, it could still go for a decent amount. So don't discount things just because it might have some condition issues. And gosh, my pictures are just not that awesome. But it's still sold for a good profit. So let's see. Oh, nice. Kaylee says, I found a jewelry jar at Goodwill that had mostly rings. Very cool. And you know, that's the thing. When I, when I find a jewelry jar that has a lot of rings in it, it's unusual because normally I don't find one with a lot of rings. But yeah, I like it when I do. So this one, this is a silver and abalone ring that sold for $29.99. This one did sit for a long time because... I mean, abalone is not, I guess it depends on how it's set, um, but I don't find that I generally get a huge amount for the abalone stuff, but this one sold, again, for $29.99, so very cool, but I did, yeah, I sat on it for a little bit, but I, hey, right, it's still 30 bucks, right, okay, so next up, this is a cool ring, I really liked this one, there's this little articulated fish, so the little fishy would move around, and I'm pretty sure that this was an adjustable ring as well. Yep, there you go. It was an adjustable ring, but so cute. And I can't, honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, yeah, you, Tom, you gotta, re, you gotta cross post some stuff. You gotta, you, you don't have enough going on. I mean, right? You, what do you, you gotta get some more stuff going. So anyway, uh, yeah, 25 bucks on this one. I feel like we're getting close to where I, I'm gonna start talking about the eBay sales. I think this is one that was on eBay. Let me flip it over and see. Do, do, do. And yeah, this is one that ended up selling on eBay. I had it listed. Again, now my, my prices as far as what it sold for on eBay, I don't have access. I don't know how much it sold for, but I can tell you what I had it listed for. Chances are that I probably took a best offer because I usually have best offer listed. But I had it listed for $69.99. I don't think I took too much off of that price because that is really cool. I know it looks, um, yeah, there you go. You can see um, an amethyst purple stone in there. So it looks kind of like it's black, but it's a really dark purple stone. And this one is more like a cigar band style where it kind of goes down in the back. Really cool. So there's that. Then this one, oh, here's another Whiting Davis. Woo I just said, oh, I don't see very many of those. So hey, if you see Whiting Davis ring, I think there's people that, that like them. So this is that watermelon Rivoli, which is always fun to, to pick up. And generally sells pretty well. So I see it a lot in cufflinks and things like that, that watermelon Rivoli um, type stone. And this one, um, again, I put $62.99 on it when I had it on eBay and Etsy. Again, I may have taken a best offer, but I doubt that it would have been less than $25. Bucks. All right, two more. Here we go. Uh, this one, again, picture could have been fixed. This is a cherries and enamel ring. And who? It was a Joan Rivers. Okay. It was a Joan Rivers ring, but I thought that there was going to be somebody 
you know, that was in that like pinup or rockabilly style that might enjoy something like that. So this one is $32.99. Oh, sure, Sandy, anytime. Okay, and then this one, okay, and you guys know how I feel about James Avery. It's a Texas company, and even though this is just a simple, <clears throat> pardon me, a simple sterling silver ring that has a little loop on it for a charm, like a dangle ring, um, if it's James Avery, it's worth a lot more than just the price of the silver that it's made with. So this one was $29.99. So if you find things that are marked Avery, sometimes it'll have a little candelabra and it'll be marked J.A. for James Avery. Um, it is worth picking up for sure. So those are my items. And if you guys, thanks, first of all, <clears throat> pardon me, thanks so much for coming to hang out. And I would love to hear about some of your successes or things that you like to look for when you're out looking for jewelry. Leave a comment down below and again if you're new here welcome i would love to have you subscribe and i've got more videos coming out about how i look for jewelry what i look for how i list it and all that good stuff so that we can all be successful selling jewelry together in the future all right thanks again so much you guys and i will talk to you later oh here we go every time <laughs>